Hi everyone, this is the unboxing of Wicked League's Whammy Titan uh, from plusdroid.com. Um, so this is a 5.5 inch, uh, massive 5.5 inch phone. Um, and uh, so this is the box, it's written Whammy Titan, a uh, nice picture. So let me just open it up. Okay, that's the phone. Leave that aside for a minute. So, this is a phone. You get the user manual, and you also get the flip cover, which is a good deal for 13,000. It's a very good deal. Uh, you get one battery. And you get earphones. These are pretty good earphones. Wicked League earphones are normally very, very good. So these are good earphones with noise cancellation. And they look very similar to the iPhone kind of earphones. Okay. Uh, you get the charger and the USB cable okay so that's the battery which we will be needing so this is the phone and uh, it's an IPS screen 5.5 inch as you can see uh, it's similar to the whammy note but however the screen the screen section is slightly bigger by 0.5 inch uh, it's got a front camera uh, it's got an installed in called speaker a back button there are two capacitive buttons over here which I can't see right now but once we turn on you can see it it's uh, pretty nice that they hide themselves uh, you have the logo, Wicked League logo, uh, at the back, there's a speaker over here, and uh, you have the 3.5mm jack, uh, and this is the charging point. Uh, there is also a stylus which comes with it, which is this, this is the stylus, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, okay, so, let me just open it up. Okay, so it's got dual SIM, uh, there's a nano SIM and there's a proper SIM card slot. So, and uh, it has got a 2000 mAh battery and 1 GB of RAM. Alright, so let me just put the battery in. Oh, I need to put my SIM card in. Okay, so uh, let me just put my SIM card in, and this is a nano SIM card slot, and it also got uh, it also has a memory card slot for an SD card, uh, and this is flash. Oops. Okay, uh, so the power button is on the right hand side over here and let me just put it up. Okay, so it's booted up and this is the unlock screen and you can swipe it. Right, uh, so screen in first impression is an IPS screen and with a QHD resolution and it looks very very good compared to all the other tablets in the market because it's a 960 into 540 resolution so it just uh, the sharpness uh, just uh, hits you straight away. Uh, apart from that uh, the touch is very very smooth and Wicked League have done a very good job with the user interface. This is not the stock Android 
4.1 um, uh, OS. So it runs on Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. And as you go through it, you really start, uh, you will realize how good this device is as you see this video. Uh, so the OS uh, is a custom OS and it looks fantastic. Like, uh, really, really, really premium look. Uh, so the, as I was saying, the buttons over here, they seem to light up. This is the menu button, this is the back button. Okay. And the set system settings. The settings, again, the setting, the uh, theme, the menu, OS is simply very, very nice. Um, so let me just go through it. It runs on Android 4.1 uh, Jelly Bean. Uh, uh, okay, storage. It's got 4 GB internal storage. Uh, and what you get is 2.05 GB free and plus uh, 503, so around 2.8 GB free um, and the display it's got um, uh, automatic brightness sensor so according to the light around you it um, uh, adjusts the brightness of the screen which is pretty useful uh, to save battery and things like that although the battery life is very very good all right uh, the gaming performance on the device is pretty outstanding because it's a dual dual core uh, and a dual core processor with 1 GB of RAM. I uh, posted the benchmark scores below. It also has GPS for maps and the navigation. Let me also show you quickly the uh, uh, quick menu. So uh, this is the quick menu and it's uh, you can just do all these settings like timeout and uh, um, automatic rotation and sync and uh, so on and so forth um, all right so let me just uh, go through one of our favorite games which is the angry birds and as you can see the resolution is quite good the clarity The 1 GB RAM is really really good because you can do a lot of multitasking on it. It's pretty handy to use this device uh, like this way. It's very very comfortable. The design seems very nice and they've done a very good job. There are absolutely no lags uh, with respect to the touch and the touch seems very very smooth. Also when you uh, put your fingers it's very very smooth. It's, uh, it's It seems slightly premium uh, compared to uh, the other 5.5 uh, inch phones. Mm. Uh, okay so let's just uh, turn the Wi-Fi. Let me just turn the Wi-Fi on. And okay, there you go. We're connected. And let me just uh, go through YouTube and play a video. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna play uh, Kung Fu Panda, I guess. Just try and show you. Steel yourself against my steel. As you can see, the sound, the approval sound quality is pretty nice. And um, also the. Uh, video loading time is uh, pretty pretty uh, sweet uh, Okay, uh, so sound quality and the video quality seem very very nice with the QHD screen uh, and even the buffering time is uh, pretty smooth 
Okay, so uh, the performance is really, really strong on the device. Also, the battery life, it's, uh, we are just running on, uh, I think, 3 or 4% of battery right now. And as you can see, when I started the video, the battery life was only 4%, but it's still um, put the Wi-Fi on. It's still running smooth. It easily lasts you for one and a half days. Uh, it's a 2500 mAh battery, uh, which is very, very commendable. Right. Um, apart from this, uh, I think it's a wonderful device for 13.5, uh, 13,000, just 13,000. So yeah, uh, it's a good buy. Uh, the benchmark sp uh, scores are pretty good and slightly higher than the other 5-inch uh, phones fabric in the fabric category because um, this device uh, has a QHD screen. Uh, and uh, as you hold it and as you see it, it feels light and with the QSV screen you really enjoy the experience. Uh, let me just quickly go through uh, also the, uh, the stylus and how it performs. Uh, well, it's a capacitive stylus so basically it's not like the Samsung S Pen but it's pretty handy. I mean the, it's, the stylus is pretty responsive and if you want to use the stylus then it's pretty fantastic to use uh, let me just uh, go through it I mean you can um, take down write a few words but again it's uh, Okay, all right. So yeah, uh, it's pretty handy to use uh, the stylus. And uh, let me just show you if I were to if I were to just use it for well, I'm right, I'm left-handed, but let me just right. So let me just uh, try and do a graffiti on it. And I'm just gonna write a write a, uh, a B C D. You can do whatever you want, and and just go back and plus P L U S plus Troid. dot com or I can also what I would do is rub it you can also use your hands I mean your hands are pretty pretty nice you can rub it and then uh, let me just uh, delete this okay so all you can just write in amaze okay right you can select the pen an amazing, amazing. Oh, I'm not very good with this, but yeah, you get the idea. It's pretty handy to use this, um, and you can. Uh, I mean, although even I would, I normally prefer to use my hands with it. So yeah. Apart from that, um, if you need anything else, uh, please do leave a comment on my video below. And I would love to create a video for you uh, on this phone. Um, uh, the key, uh, so please uh, do subscribe uh, for the latest video of all the gadgets uh, on the subscribe button in my channel. And um, if you have any questions, please do leave a message. Uh, okay, uh, finally, before uh, I do leave, I did forget one thing, which was uh, browsing. So, okay, let me just turn the Wi-Fi on. And I'll just show you the rendering on it. Uh, right browsing. And go to Google. Google search. <coughs> right. Um, did do a search for Google and I'm going to do a search for our website plus, oops. such
right there you go that's a website technology at your fingertips so plus droid.com oops right so that's our website uh, let me just check the rendering rendering is pretty smooth it's slightly a uh, second of a lag uh, not not a second a point point half a second of a lag I mean just, there you go it gets adjusted if you just notice it it's zoom in and then it gets adjusted so yeah uh, not too bad so um, uh, it's a very nice phone you should just go ahead and buy it if you can afford it at 13,000 uh, compared to other phones in the market like a110 Micromax and others which cost you around 11,000 and um, uh, these uh, I don't know many there are, there are eyeball and index but I mean this phone did a really good job with the operating system and um, well with the operating system and also with the uh, screen I mean the screen is really really nice also the stylus you get stylus with it so it's fantastic uh, well 13,000 slightly 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 expensive but uh, well it's a steal at this price it's surely a steal uh, please do subscribe uh, to our website or uh, to our channel uh, at YouTube and please post if you have any questions on the device. Thanks. Have a nice day.